Welcome to Redstone class. Let's do homework answers. The challenge was to do a turnaround in all four directions. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to pull out a minecart so we can test. So if I were to do a turnaround like this, would that work? Yes, it would. But if I did a turnaround like this, would it work? No, it wouldn't. And the reason for that is quite simply the southeast rule. So what do we have to do? Well, what you can do is you can overcome it using the downhill rule. And so if I were to destroy this and do like so, it would overcome the rule and we would be able to come back the other way. Now you have a minecart that's going back and forth. We're going east and west. So let's do north and south. So let's do the same thing over here. Uh, you could do it that way too. In fact, let's try that. That would always work as well. So you can see that that is another way to solve your problem. You don't necessarily have to always use the downhill rule. So would this work in this direction? No, it wouldn't. And so what if we came like this and did it this way. See, now you have a turnaround. You don't always have a choice which way you do a turnaround. Sometimes you need to do it the other way. And so if that's the case, what you can do is go the other way. So this one is actually an easier homework than you would think. So, but just for practice's sake, I want to show that it doesn't matter which way you do it when you do it on this way, but it does matter over here. So what we can do if we were to do it the, using the downhill rule, we would do it instead like this. And notice that you get a problem when you do that. That's something I wanted you to run into is that you get this issue. And that can be befuddling. But it's able to detect this rail right here. So the solution is to remove that rail before you place it down. And that will solve your problem. And so now you could use it this way to overcome using the downhill rule instead of trying to bypass and go the other direction. Maybe you're going around this loop and you need to go around this loop in a certain direction because you'll notice we are going clockwise and now, we are going, so you want to break that one first. Now we are going counterclockwise. So sometimes the direction you come through this loop is going to matter in real life. So you're building a train station, and you need to go off into a, into a loop a certain way. And so that can actually matter. Um, say you had a detector, and it was supposed to do something afterward. And so that's something to bear in mind. So let's go ahead and flip this other way, just so we're doing all eight. So let's say we wanted to go this way. Well, we could do the same thing. We wouldn't want to do that. We want to do this. And then we wouldn't need to do it on this side, because this is the west side, because of the southeast rule. We always get what we want. See. All right. That's it.